going on, guys? Welcome back, United We Stand 734. Today's Wednesday, uh, what, February 26th, all right? And uh, I was clicking through the, I was browsing the internet today, and I clicked on a, a page with the uh, NFL Combine results. And I was kind of browsing through the NFL Combine results to see which prospects really showed out and uh, who kind of started sucking at the Combine and uh, maybe hurt their draft stock. Uh, real quick, for those of you that don't know what the Combine is, it's a three, four-day, basically, series of tests that the NFL puts its... Um, potential draftees through. It's kind of like a giant job interview for uh, college, uh, you know, rookie who guys will be rookies in the NFL next year. Every, every you know, physical test you can imagine, every position drill you can imagine, um, intelligence test, the Wonderlick test, uh, all types of psyche valves, you know, criminal history checks, everything you can ever imagine. They dig in every little tiny facet of your life at the NFL Combine, okay? Um, now moving right along, as I as I clicked on the uh, the part of the, of, the, of the webpage I was on that said guys whose NFL draft stock dropped, one name jumped out at me, and I, and I realized that as polarizing as a figure as this guy is, I never really did a video on him, and that's uh, Michael Michael Sam. You know, first uh, openly he'll be the first openly gay player in NFL history if he makes a roster if he gets drafted. Uh, defensive end out of Missouri. Pretty good college football player from, from looking at his tape. Had a very good senior year, and uh, right after his senior year, he came out of the closet and he announced he was homosexual. Now I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna really get into the politics of, uh, of, of of the whole gay agenda and gay mafia shit I normally talk about. I'm just gonna talk about Michael Sam and his decision um, to come out before the draft. Okay, and, and what I would, what I personally think about his timing. All right, now. Michael Sam, prior to this to this announcement, was projected to be a, a mid round guy. Okay, a guy that's drafted fourth, fifth, sixth rounder. Okay, he um, he had a couple things stacked against him. He was he's kind of what what the NFL they call a tweener. All right, he he's his body type is in between defensive end and outside linebacker. All right, you want either one of those positions require to play successfully in the NFL require explosiveness, a lot of speed, and a lot of strength. You have to be very you have to have those three things if you want to succeed in the NFL. Michael Sam has exhibited none of them at the Combine, but I'll get into that. My personal feeling of his uh, timing, I think I think he did himself and his potential team a disservice, okay? I think that um, we all know by by the massive amount of media attention that, that his coming out announcement garnered that there's going to be a huge media circus following him to whatever team drafts him. And you could tell it even, even um, with the coverage leading up to the Combine, they're, you know, they're, they're on the NFL Network, they're showing all the guys. Oh, check out the combine! Check out Jadavion Clowney, Sammy Watkins, Michael Sam. Michael Sam is not even remotely close to being in the the the, the, the athletic level uh, of Jadavion Clowney or Michael Sam or Blake Bortles or or, or, or Johnny Manziel. These these guys are going to be top draft choices, and um, he was nowhere nowhere near those guys. All right, and, but they were still hyping it up because that's what the media loves to hype this shit up, right? So. I think it's when he gets drafted, when he goes to a team, he's going to already be a guy who has to fight for a roster spot. So he's he's not by any stretch going to be a first round draft choice with a guaranteed contract. He's going to be a guy that has to fight. And I think the media attention surrounding him and the media attention is going to be focused on that team. Every one of the players on that team, every time a microphone gets stuck in their face, a reporter's going to be asking them, "What do you think about Michael Sam? What about your teammate Michael Sam?" Blah 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 blah. Just the same shit that happened with Tim Tebow. Wherever he went, it was a media fucking frenzy around him. Look when he was fighting for a roster spot as the Patriots third string quarterback. Every fucking question asked to, uh, asked to Belich Belichick during um, spring camp that year, during training camp, was about Tim Tebow. You have one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time in Tom Brady leading that team, but yet the media was asking questions about a guy fighting for a third string job because it was Tim Tebow, because he was a polarizing figure. And like it or not, I think Michael Sam will be somewhat in that same position. I think he's a guy that, you know, and, and I'm not I'm not hating on Michael Sam when I say this, but I don't think he's a guy that's going to bring a ton football-wise right off the bat, okay? I think if he's going to be a successful NFL player, he's going to have to work very hard and improve on a lot of things before he's a regular contributor in the NFL. Okay, my opinion only. I'm not an expert. I don't. I don't. You know. I don't work in the NFL front office. Believe me, if I did, I wouldn't be doing these YouTube videos. So, um, anyways, I, I think that it's it's just a, he prob. My opinion, he should have waited a year or two, make an NFL roster, become an established NFL player, 
Get to know your team. Come out to your team first, just like you did when you were in college. Let everybody know what's up, then come out, okay? Because I, just, I hate to see him get to a team and then resentment start to build up among all the other players, among the veterans, because every time they turn around, you got some fucking stupid idiot reporter sticking a microphone in your face talking about, what do you think about Michael Sam? You know, Eventually, one of these guys is going to be like, would you shut the fuck up about Michael Sam? Let's talk about the, the guys on our team that are going to contribute. They're going to get us to the playoffs and win us a playoff game, maybe a Super Bowl. That's the type of shit these guys, I, I guarantee you, you're going to see. So um, just to avoid the, the massive media frenzy when you're still brand new on the job, if I was Michael Sam, I probably would have waited, okay? And, 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 and that's not, you know, that's not under his control, really, about, about the media frenzy, but he had to know it was going to be out there, okay? I don't know if he courts it, if he wants it, but, you know, whatever. I would have waited. Moving right along to the NFL Combine. Now, this is what like I said, uh, before he came out, he was he was looked at as a fourth, fifth round talent. Okay, he has some very good tape at Missouri. He played some good football this year. SEC Defense Player of the Year. That's big time shit. That's the toughest football, uh, college football league bar none. SEC is no joke, and he was Defensive Player of the Year in the SEC. So he had a very good year. Unfortunately, his football playing skills. Um, did not translate over to his workout abilities because he was he put up absolutely dreadful number uh, dreadful numbers at the combine. Um, you know, forty yard dash, top defensive end, num probably probably the number one choice. Jadavion Clowney came out ran a four point four seven. That is fucking unbelievable for a guy who's six seven, two sixty six. Now I didn't expect. Michael Sam to run, uh, you know, a fucking 4.47. That's superhuman abilities. That's ridiculous. That's faster than some receivers ran the fucking, uh, that's faster than some receivers ran. But Michael Sam came out and ran like a 4.91, which is just, I, I mean, I can't believe, I can't begin to describe how bad of a time that is for an outside linebacker slash uh, defensive end. That is just an absolutely terrible time. Um, to put it into perspective, there was some offensive tackles. One of them was you know, Taylor Lewan from Michigan. This guy who's 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, goes about 320. He ran a 4.85 40. Okay. And, and Michael Sam, 6'2", and goes about 260. So, you know, uh, already it's working against him because the NFL is not sure what position he's going to play. Is, is he too small for defensive end but too big for outside linebacker? Hence the title, the moniker tweener. Um, and, and had he come out and ran like a 4.7 or lower, you know, mid 4.7s mid down to 4.6s, Michael Sam would have done himself a huge favor. But coming out running a 4.91, oh, man, you got a lot of offensive linemen, you know, 300-pounders running faster than that. And that is just not going to get it done at any day of the week. Terrible showing there. Second thing that's very important to his potential position of um, – uh, of defensive end or outside linebacker is your strength, your physical power. When you got to put your hands up, you got to put your hand, you got to fight off offensive tackles with their eight feet long fucking arms, put your hands in their chest and bull rush them. You need a lot of physical strength because you're going up against the NFL left tackles, NFL right tackles, who are uh, NFL O linemen are some of the strongest dudes on the field. These are very, very powerful dudes. One of the ways that the NFL measures dra uh, draftees physical strength is by the, the the bench press they they do 220 they put 225 pounds on the bench press and the draftees bench it in a row as many times as they can okay a good score for offensive linemen i would say it would be 28 and up you know same thing for d linemen linebackers you like to see him hit 25 and up in the mid 20s at least the fucking punter from miami ran a 4 6 40 and put up 23 reps of 225 the punter from miami fucking kid out of saginaw valley state in michigan right no name kid, Tim Janis, wide receiver, ran a 4.3 and threw up 20 reps at 225. Wide receiver. You are Michael Sam's a defensive end outside linebacker candidate, and he only put up 17 reps. It was 16 or 17. That is absolutely just, I mean, just once again, dreadful. You couldn't have made a poor showing at the combine than, than showing up. You know, he showed up slow, he showed up weak. When you got a punter that's putting up fucking almost 10 more reps than you, that is sickening. And you're a defensive line. You're a 6'2", 260-pound, you know, defensive player, and, and you, you only show up and put up 16. Oh, man, that's that's fucking garbage. So um, I don't know, was it a lack of preparation? Was he too busy doing interviews about being the first gay player to uh, take time and work out? I, I don't know what happened. But I'll tell you this right now. There's a good chance that, that his poor physical showing – um, took him from a you know fourth fifth round guy to now an, an undrafted free agent. I mean he just he just he just showed out really 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 terribly, R really bad effort on his part. So you know my my advice to Michael Sam man, you better have a good fucking pro day. You better hit them motherfucking weights. And if you don't get drafted, it's not because you're it's not because you're fucking gay. 
it's because you look like shit at the NFL Combine. Two of the absolute, absolute most important um, things you could have done at the Combine: the forty-yard dash and the uh, and the bench. You you just you just fucking laid an egg at both of them. So you know you, you fucked yourself there, Michael Sam. Um, that's all I want to talk about in regards to that. You know, wish the dude luck. Hope he does well. Um, you know, we'll have to wait.